Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everyone. Nice to have you aboard. Well, there were some nervous moments last night in the Liberty Bowl. The Tigers out slug South Alabama. They win the game. They are three and one. And after the game, even with all those nervous moments, you said this is something your team needed. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great game. It was back and forth. Uh, you know, going in at halftime, tied up 21, uh, you know, 21, 21. It was a great opportunity for our guys to, to respond, to play 60 minutes. Uh, you know, South Alabama, you got to give them a lot of credit. They executed well. They, they played tough. They played physical. It really, the game played out kind of how I expected it to. I knew it was going to be back and forth. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a wonderful job, you know, wonderful by, job by our guys guys come out in the second half making some adjustments and uh, you'll find a way to win the game. You know your, your offense did put up a whole bunch of points 52. I thought there were a couple of defensive plays on a night where the defense wasn't maybe as sharp as I know you would like but I can think of a play where you stop a guy at the one when he was going to go in and you get the ball back after that and then a huge fourth down stand and Joseph Dorsius makes some incredible yeah. plays. That was where the heart came from I uh, thought. No question and I mean it was not you know it was probably uh, you know, our worst game that we've played defensively up until this point in the season, but in a sense, you know, the big plays and critical moments, they showed up. We got a couple takeaways, which I was really proud of. You Like you mentioned, the fourth down stop was huge, a big momentum swing, and, and the, the, we played off of each other. It was a, it was a really nice, uh, uh, it was a nice job by every phase, really having key, key moments, key plays. We all made mistakes. I mean, that's something that was evident, but uh, you know, our guys responded in those situations and found a way to win it there in the second half. And once again, so many offensive weapons, but my goodness, Daryl Henderson is just a joy to watch. You'll see all the highlights that is coming up, including 188 yards on the ground from Henderson. Also, the Chick-fil-A inside access is all about the new building. It's going out on the South Campus, and then the AutoZone Road Ahead is in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Friday night, the Green Wave and the Tigers. That's all ahead on the Mike Norvell Show. Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everyone. Nice to have you aboard. Well, there were some nervous moments last night in the Liberty Bowl. The Tigers out slug South Alabama. They win the game. They are three and one. And after the game, even with all those nervous moments, you said this is something your team needed. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great game. It was back and forth. Uh, you know, going in at halftime, tied up 21, uh, you know, 21, 21. It was a great opportunity for our guys to, to respond, to play 60 minutes. Uh, you know, South Alabama, you got to give them a lot of credit. They executed well. They, they played tough. They played physical. It really, the game played out kind of how I expected it to. I knew it was going to be back and forth. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a wonderful job. You know, wonderful by, job by our guys guys come out in the second half making some adjustments and uh, you'll find a way to win the game. You know your, your offense did put up a whole bunch of points 52. I thought there were a couple of defensive plays on a night where the defense wasn't maybe as sharp as I know you would like but I can think of a play where you stop a guy at the one when he was going to go in and you get the ball back after that and then a huge fourth down stand and Joseph Dorsius makes some incredible yeah. plays. That was where the heart came from I uh, thought. No question and I mean it was not you know it was probably uh, you know, our worst game that we've played defensively up until this point in the season, but in a sense, you know, the big plays and critical moments, they showed up. We got a couple takeaways, which I was really proud of. You, like you mentioned, the fourth down stop was huge, a big momentum swing, and, and the, the, we played off of each other. It was a, it was a really nice, uh, uh, it was a nice job by every phase, really having key, key moments, key plays. We all made mistakes. I mean, that's something that was evident, but uh, you know, our guys responded in those situations and found a way to win it there in the second half. And once again, so many offensive weapons, but my goodness, Daryl Henderson is just a joy to watch. You'll see all the highlights that is coming up, including 188 yards on the ground from Henderson. Also, the Chick-fil-A inside access is all about the new building. 
It's going out on the South Campus, and then the AutoZone Road ahead is in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Friday night, the Green Wave and the Tigers. That's all ahead on the Mike Norvell Show. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. A lot of big plays in that first half, 21-21. We've seen Jamarius Way, who ended up with 180-some yards in catches, really use his height and his athleticism. Did you guys make adjustments at the half? Yeah, of course. And it's something every, every, during every game we go in there, you know, we reevaluate what happened in the first half. Uh, you know, offensively, one of the things, you know, the penalties are what kind of set us back. We had three penalties that negated uh, either big runs or different things at that point. Defensively, we, you know, we just had to keep playing. Uh, we had to eliminate the big play on their end, and uh, you know, we wanted to come out and get off to a fast start. Well, the uh, fast start is exactly what you're going to get. The auto zone drive of the game is a statement, I thought, and you're using everybody. First, it's Henderson, then it's Pollard, and now you go to Coxie. So there's three great players right up the bat. Yeah, I know. It's a great, great conversion there on the third down. You come back with uh, uh, Daryl here on the, uh, you know, on, on the outside zone. I thought we did a good job up front. Uh, you know, it's really a chess match in this game. Guys having to, guys having to work. You got a lot of different looks. I thought this was one of the better plays for Brady White. Uh, you hear early in this season, stepping up, a little bit of pressure on him, puts the ball only where he could for our, for uh, Cox to go up and make a great play. And uh, I thought that was a big part of, big part of the game. And then the defense came out and. Uh, you was able to respond. Got it. You know, we were able to force a, a, a quick uh, three and out here. I thought our guys. You, know, you talk about the pressure on the quarterback. Even though we don't get there, forced a quick throw, and uh, you'll get off the field there on on, on the quick three and out. This is. Uh, I should point out. You don't have Goodson. You don't have Emmanuel Cooper. Uh, Swamp Donkey went out for a little bit. Really, your starting defensive front was out for much of this game. It, it was, and you know, it gave a new opportunity for other guys to step up. You know, big play there, Joey Magnifico, uh, with the big catch and run. You know, once again, we get down there. Uh, you know, Coxie with a nice, nice catch. Come up a little bit short on the on the third down, uh, but Riley Riley Patterson did a great job of uh, of responding, coming out, banging in. The, I think it was a 42 yard field goal, uh, which was great to see, and uh, you know, got a got a 10 point lead. Just when you think you can breathe a little easier, there's Jamarius Way again. And he's just a terrific player. I think he's got a chance to play uh, in the next level. And there's Kwan Baker, who's also a very good weapon from them. And now it's a four-point game because of that. Another block. That's three blocks in two games. Yeah, really proud of our guys. You know the response there on the extra point. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Big John Wilson got in there and was able to get his get his hand up. Uh, you know, so we go back to work. Got a little play action. Uh, you know, they were really doing a good job of stacking the box. And uh, you know, I thought, uh, um, you know, for us in, in this sequence, you know, we're continuing to try to work to take what they give us. Um, but they did a, they did a nice job. You know, here we were uh, you know, looking to be aggressive. It, it's a couple a couple looks there throughout the game. Uh, we thought we had the fake. Uh, obviously, they uh, they did a great job in, in their execution um, you know gave us a short field but I thought this was one of the keys of the game uh, defense gets down big stop there great hit by JJ Russell uh, knocking them back you know Tito Windham showed up there and then the fourth down play uh, look at Jojo jo jo Dorsey Ooh. is getting in there uh, you know Curtis Aikens you know great great effort a big fourth down stop that is called standing them up that was a good scholarship you gave away to Joseph Dorsius. And here we come. There's Coxie again. And what a game for Coxie. 113 yards on eight catches and a touchdown. Yeah, that was, that was a big play there. Uh, you know, obviously being able to get out from our, from our uh, uh, end zone. Uh, you know, Pop Williams, another big play. That was a second and long there. Uh, we'd had a penalty, but uh, I thought we did a great job. And then coming back uh, with the reverse to Tony Pollard. Uh, great blocking out in front. You, know, you see Coxie. Uh, you see Dylan Parham. Even Brady White getting in the action, a uh, big touchdown. And I got to give you credit, that's a beautiful call. They're going wherever Henderson goes. That was the direction those linebackers were going. You trick them with that, and there's the touch shot, and there he is again. And now you can finally breathe easy. Yeah, big run by Daryl Henderson. I thought Tyce Daniel had a great uh, great block there on, on that, uh, you know, Pop Williams. Uh, but these guys, they didn't give up. They continued to work. Uh, they, they, they went down, scored the touchdown. Look at the, look at the play by DeMonte Coxie there on the onside kick. Uh, we'd worked that quite a bit this week. Uh, you know, it was a phenomenal kick by their, on their end. Uh, but then to finish it up, Patrick Taylor with a great tough run, dragging three guys into mm. the end zone. Uh, you know, that was an imp impressive finish. Hard-fought game, but really proud of our guys. Glad Patrick got that. And that, that coaxy grab on that 
on that uh, onside kick that Penny Hardaway had to be watching that to teach his guys how to rebound, how beautiful that was. And then you really do rack up the yardage, 563 total yards, a lot of balance, rushing and passing. Another nice night for Brady White, 76% yeah. accuracy. He was, he was phenomenal. I thought this was probably his best game when you look at all the different things that he did uh, in the run game, passing game. Obviously, Daryl Henderson uh, continuing with a, with a great night. Uh, you had to cut, it was unfortunate he had the 50 yarder called back there early in the game, uh, but uh, you know, he just uh, doing a wonderful job for us. And uh, obviously, we'd mentioned Coxie, uh, you know, really becoming a go to guy for us. So, off to a three and one start, and that's got to feel good a third of the way through the season. Uh, no question. And we know that the uh, challenges are going to continue to get bigger. We have to go back on the road this week. I know we'll talk about this two lane game coming up, but uh, uh, that was a game that we needed. We needed to, to, to have a four quarter game where we had to go out there and respond, respond in the right way of, of being able to finish it, and our guys did that. Before that AutoZone Road Ahead, though, good stuff. Inside Access brought to you by Chick-fil-A. It's all about building. I know you've been waiting for this one for a long time. We'll talk with the players about the new facilities. That's next on the Mike Norvell Show. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. Cranes on the campus are a good thing. Progress, like the new Liberty Bowl locker rooms. Players love that, and they love what's going on on the South Campus. It's nice to see us growing, you know, all the talk about the indoor and the new locker room and new training room. I love it. You know, it's always nice to see us grow. But at the same time, I've always kind of had a respect for it. You know, the old grind feeling that Memphis has had, you know, kind of gritty, grit grind. It just shows, you know, the, the program is on the rise and, you know, all the hard work we put in is paying off now. You see with the indoor coming in and all the, the building and construction you see around campus, it's just good for the campus. What they're doing now is, man, been on the rise. So we've always wanted the indoor, so uh, what they're doing for us is it's outstanding. We, we're going to love it. We're going to treat it, you know, it's, it's high up for us. We're going to treat it like, it like it's like that. Players here at Memphis, we go to work. So regardless of the facilities, we're going to get our work in and we're going to um, take an approach that's a championship approach. However, it's really nice to see your hard work, your efforts um, be rewarded sometimes. And so when we have these new facilities coming in, um, I think that's going to bring an extra like boost in spirit and excitement that um, you know, is in us that we get to see in that building, um, but it's also huge in recruiting. Um, a lot of recruits like to see the um, facilities, the, the equipment you have, and when you have top of the line stuff that's being put in here soon, um, it, it helps a lot. Not to mention Coach Novell and his staff are pretty good recruiters. You know, it's always great to see progression, and uh, that's something that it's in kind of the nature of the beast in college football. Everybody's building, everybody's growing, but uh, you were so very grateful for the commitment to, to el help elevate Memphis Tiger football to where we believe it can go, and it's, uh, it's been impressive to see and be able to provide these guys with those resources. It's only going to help us get better in the future. Can't wait to see the new digs. The AutoZone Road Ahead is next. Watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Time for the AutoZone Road Ahead. Always one of my favorite trips. We go down to New Orleans to take on Tulane. One and three, a win over Nichols coach and a tough game last uh, night against Ohio State, but that's one of the better teams in the country. Yeah, you know, uh, this week is uh, another short week, and so we've got to do a great job in our preparation uh, going back on the road in conference play. It's, it's always going to be a challenge, always going to be a battle. Uh, you know, you know Tulane does a lot of things offensively, schematically, that can present some, some, some issues for you. You know, they've got a couple really 
really good receivers. Uh, you know, the, the quarterback is a little bit more experienced this year. Um, and then, you know, obviously defensively, they've, they've got a great tradition of uh, being able to play at a high level. And so uh, this is another well-coached team that we're playing. I've got a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Fritz and the job he does. So uh, we got to get our, we got to get our minds right and uh, have a great week of practice. And, and, and offensively, aren't they similar somewhat to the way South Alabama presents itself? They are. They're multiple in what they do, but they do do present some triple option. You know, a lot of the high motions, things that you have to make sure your assignment sound, and uh, you know, got to be able to play uh, uh, you know, a variety of different looks to it. Uh, Health-wise, you gave us some pretty good news on Jackson Dillon. I, I don't know if he's going to come back right away. What about Goodson? What about Leandre Thomas? Yeah, still early in the week. We're going to have to see how these guys respond. Uh, you know, uh, after the game, you know, there's some guys that are bumped and bumps and bruises. Anytime you get you know, in four weeks into the season, you're going to see that. But hopefully, we'll get Emmanuel Cooper back this week. You know, hopefully, Sam Craft, some guys that have yeah. been out. Uh, you mentioned uh, Dre. Hopefully, if he can get, uh, come back and be able to go, that provides more depth. But uh, you know, our kids, we're going we're to have a great week. Uh, I know they're excited about being back in conference play, and uh, we'll be ready to roll. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We'll see you in New Orleans on Friday. We'll see you right back here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV Show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, the show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A.